Hey guys, I wanted to come in and do a, uh, a video on the new Livermore uh, Fusion where publications are saying they've made a breakthrough and, and this is going to be our future and, and all this money thrown at this Fusion is nonsense. Do we have enough tritium? By 2060, according to the scientists, the global production rate of tritium will reach zero. But even after 2060, some tritium will remain in the worldwide inventory. To have a fusion reactor, you must use tritium slash deuterium. You can't do it without it. You just can't. This is how this works. Naturally occurring tritium is extremely rare on Earth and is only found in trace amounts in the atmosphere. That means the vast majority of tritium on the surface of this planet came from our fission reactors that release tens of thousands of terabacrols per site per year into the environment. That tritium is taken up in plant life where it either replaces hydrogen or bonds drive directly to the carbon in the cell. Once we eat that plant life, it stays bonded to our cells for much, much longer than just tritium at 12 to 30 days, biological half-life. Our bodies do not release this tritium in 12 to 30 days. This is the beta decay in our drinking water, is from tritium. It is a beta emitter. When it's trapped in our body and it does that beta decay, it releases a gamma photon right next to the cell. That causes double DNA strand breaks micronucleus formations, cell necrosis and apoptosis, chromosomal aberrations, and various other phenomena they can't explain, thus negatively affecting human health. The Achilles heel of both fusion and fission is tritium and organically bound tritium. Call your representative today and demand they stop funding with our money, public funds, these ignorant programs. Wake the fuck up, you people. Wake the fuck up. Bye.